Good morning, little hawks. Today's date is Friday, October 23rd. I'm your host, Noah, and this is Haley. Hello, and welcome back to our weekly show. Here's the latest news. Student Senate plans to continue the annual tradition of Spirit Week here at City High. However, this year it will be over two weeks instead of just one. As Max Berry Stolt writes, this is so that the hybrid students will have a chance to experience all the days. And now, some City High sports updates. City High football defeats Tumla to move on to the next round of the playoffs. Head coach Dan Sabers said after the game, It was great seeing the players so happy after two rough losses. The City High volleyball season has come to an end after a hard-fought game against West. The girls contributed their season to teammate Emma Nugent. After financial hardships brought by the pandemic, the University of Iowa swim has been cut for the year. As Jay Dancer reports, Heidi Stockfleet, the class of 22, has been doing iFly Club swim for years, but after the most recent cuts by the U of I to the swimming and diving programs, Stockfleet has taken up swimming here at City High for the fall of 2020. On September 1st, the swim team competed at their first meet versus Linmar held at Linmar. Stockfleet broke two of City High's oldest school records for swimming, a five minute and one second in the 500 yard freestyle and a one minute 53 second in the 200 yard. In the future, Stockfleet hopes to compete in the 2021 Olympic trials held at Omaha, Nebraska from June 13th through the 20th. She also hopes to get racing opportunities at Statewide Swimming and Marshalltown YMCA on November 13th and 14th. And now for the arts. The Little Women cast for this year's fall play has been announced. Read all about it and the upcoming play announcements on thelittlehawk.com. That's all for this week. Until next time, City High News.